glimpse of big old Mount McKinley in the mountain range. It's a beautiful day. We wanted to get a shot because we're not sure if it's going to come out and play the next few days while we're up there. You sure sound good to me. I can't refuse it. What a big guy to be. Feel like dancing. Dance cause we are free. <laughs> 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 I got my own in the promised land, but I feel at home. Can you understand? Na, 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 na. Hello there. Hello. Hi, Ben. Hi, Verna. Hi, Rochelle. Hi. Midnight in Alaska. It's the midnight sun. Rainbow Country. Rainbow Country. Willow Ptarmigans in Alaska, Denali National Park. Female. Yeah, he looks wise. Yeah. <laughs> 
Remember that a, hauling a sled is hard work for a dog, yet they do it willfully and with enthusiasm, so it hardly appears to be work at all. Do what you love and embrace the everyday challenges we face, knowing that our attitude helps us discover joy. Yours, Harry Carstens. And of course, Anna and Ellen wouldn't have jobs if it weren't for the dogs, so <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to, to a few of the dogs in the back here. It's Chulitna, and Chulitna is our wheel dog. Um, Chulitna is in the back, and they're often called the wheel dogs and often have the, the charge of getting, getting the cart started or getting the sled started. Next up, our dogs that are right behind the front dogs are swing dogs, and we have Swift and Finn here. Oh, is that Swift? Yeah, it's Swift. Swift and Finn here. Oh, you want treats, huh? We have Swift <laughs> and Finn, and their job is to either in a training position, learning behind the front dogs, or they may be helping the front dogs pull the rest of the team around when you have more than five dogs. Then up here we have the leaders. These are the brains of the operation. Uh, this is Pingo right here, the black and white one, and this is Yokoni. And these dogs are the ones that are responsible for paying attention where to go and trying to figure out what needs to happen. The driver may be giving commands at some point in time, but they're often relying on that relationship. Isn't that what you're getting a picture of? <laughs> okay, I'll go. I'm back in. Right up along, you can stand down in there if you want. Yeah. yeah. They're up here. Sorry about that. Yeah. It's all right. It's important on the death roll. Oh, sweet. That guy's big. Oh, he's running down. Two babies. Oh, my gosh. You can't look. Uh, and uh, these are two cubs, right? You won't see. Uh, Bears are loners, they don't like to be together, and when you see them together, they're usually a sow with cubs. Oh, oh that's that's cute. cute. I don't know where he is. <laughs> okay, everybody see them now? Those uh, <laughs> those cubs, uh, they when they stay with that sow for the three years, they nurse for the whole three years, even when they get almost her size, up to over 200 pounds. Hey, that comes That's down. what keeps them near her. Uh, they need to be near her because they're in great danger out here uh, from the boars. The boars will kill the cubs if they can. The sow is their protector. Snare. Yeah, they're, they're quite a ways up there, aren't they? Yeah. Now you see the color of that sow, that's that blonde. Yeah. That's the predominant color of the bears in the area. It's called a toklak color phase. Yeah. Oh my god. That's uh, yeah. Yeah, 
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Verna, what's hey happening? Hey, we just got out the bus. We've been in there a while. Temperatures dropped about 20 degrees. We're in the polychrome mountains. Here's our bus. Here's our show. <laughs> Yeah, they, they're, a lot of times you see just one or two. They don't necessarily run in herds all the time. Arctic ground squirrel licking the building. Getting pretty close.
going to walk back to the other place. fishing and I'm gonna go on a little exploratory tour looking for the beaver. Where is he? Responsible for oh there it is. Launching down on this large tree. Let's go find him. Where is I'm seeing more evidence of this mysterious beaver. Oh, looks like there's a work in progress on this one. This is one busy beaver. Maybe he struggles with uh, completing his projects a little bit. Looks like you got a little bit closer on this one. Maybe another afternoon's work and he'll have that one down. A little bit more on that one. Good job, Mr. Beaver. Now what are you gonna do with your catch? I'm gonna drag those in the water? Awfully heavy. You see him sort of fake bite it? Yes. Hey, my first Arctic grayling. Got him on the line. Took some effort. He's a fighter. What do you think? Let's see if we can land him. All right, we're here at Horseshoe Lake. Ben's uh, trying to catch an Arctic grayling here. All right. 
right, we got him. Are you going to let him go? Yeah, I'm going to let him go. Just go, buddy. Yeah, I'll try to get this hook out real quick. Okay, I got the hook out. Okay, you got him. Oh, let's yeah, I'm put him right here in the sun. I'm I'll hold up his face. Oh my god, he's gonna die. We're still at Horseshoe Lake. I think we found a mom and a baby moose. Let's go check him out. 